Good morning, Kim from Colorful Spirits Art Studio here, and I am working on the flip side of my Easter Bunny cutout. I'm going to do this one a little differently, and uh, I've got it drawn out here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm doing the face a little differently and just trying to do, just trying to change things up a bit. So I'm going to start with the outer, you know, the outer part side of my bunny, and this time I'm going to do kind of an off-white color. Just the other side was white, so I'm just. I like to, I almost never, even if I'm trying to do the same painting for whatever reason, I do something differently. I just, I have to. So I'm going to do the first coat of the outside of the bunny, the fur part, and then hangers in the way, but, and I'm quite sure again, this is going to need a couple of coats. So I'm just going down here trying to get some good coverage. I have, you know, the other side is kind of covered up, so hopefully I'm not going to um, get any paint on the other side. Normally, if depends on what the eyes look like, I might just paint over them, but these are pretty big, so I'm going to try to go around these because I want to get the full effect and not have to go over the base coat paint. I'm just kind of move around a little bit. And probably should switch to a smaller brush, which is why I'm having trouble here. Which I suppose I will do that now. I mean, you can go right over the stuff and paint it back in. That's usually what I do, but. In fact, I'm going to go over his little nose there, snout, whatever that is. So I can put that, the details back in with the other colors. And again, I think I'm just going to go over the feet and put all that pink back in just because it's easier for me but if you're doing it you know you do whatever works for you I mean you can go around those things I just just drives me a little nuts to do that and that little brush gave me a lot of stroke marks that I'm taking out here so I'm gonna do this one um you know we've got 4th of July and Memorial, well, Memorial Day and then 4th of July. So we've got, you know, a couple of patriotic things. We just did the patriotic um, mason jar. So this is going to be a little patriotic bunny. So just something again to use the flip side of this thing and, um, you know, be able to get the real use out of it. Let me see if I can go over this if it's not too wet. another coat on all this okay so I've got another coat on my bunny's fur and now I'm going to start um, doing the pink areas first and while well, I'm still letting that kind of tan color dry so I'm just trying to get inside my ears here This looks like it's covering pretty well, so I don't know if I'm going to need another coat or not. Yeah, I'm sure there will be a few places I've got to touch up after that. Bit. 
inside here to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go outside there a little bit. So I'll have to go over that, but I just wanted it to be a little bit bigger on that side. Okay, so now I'm going to do the cheeks. Um, what I'm gonna do is take a lighter pink and a dry brush and kind of hope that this tan is um, dry enough that we don't make some mud here. But it looks like it's okay. So I just want to get a little light color in the cheeks. I don't want it to be overwhelming. And I may go back and lighten up those ears a little bit. I feel like that might be a little bit much, but it's pretty, pretty darn pink there. So let's just do maybe some top part from now and see how that looks. I may change it a hundred times before I'm done. I mean, what you see in the end of the video, might I might still change it. I'll take it off the door a couple weeks from now and say, you know what, I'm gonna do this. And so there's just no telling what I might do. All right, yeah, I feel like that still might be a little dark, but we'll get back to that. Okay, so now I believe I'm going to sit down because I need to get closer to all this to be able to see what I'm doing. And the camera is in the way, so uh, hopefully my head won't get in the way. bunch of plates over here with things on it so usually I save the black for last I don't know why I went for it now but I'm sorry so I'm just trying to carefully get the shape the circular shape of the eyes and I'm gonna leave that little circle where the highlight is out because I really don't want to have to go over the black if I don't have to since it's pretty large if it's little I don't generally worry too much about it, but that's a pretty big size highlight, so I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to cover it up some on the side to bring it back. And the paint on the side. Okay, so it's going to still need some tweaking, but I'll get that on there and get it to dry before we get going further with that. Like I said, I usually do the black glass. I don't know why I went to that one, but... And I think I'm going to do the outer area, too, so this dries. Um, this is, you know, the white of the eye, and then the inner part there is actually going to be blue. So, but I want to get these on here and let these dry before I add the blue in there, and I'm going to have to get a, probably a smaller brush for that. So I'm just getting my first coat on here. And I can see where, now that I'm closer to it, I can see where I have to go back over with some of the uh, fur color, some spots I missed. Let's let that all dry. And I'm going to go back and touch up that area that I missed over here because it's going to drive me nuts. I just missed it and get close enough to the eye here. So I'm going to take care of that now. I'm going to pick up some of the white. Moving some of that white around by accident here. Oops, that's not dried all the way. All right, let me get away from there before I mess it up. Okay, so now... I'm going to get his little nose started. I'm going to use that lighter pink again. I think that dark pink is way too dark. And I'm going to need probably another coat of this because it looks like it kind of gets sucked in. And I would say while you have your white on your brush to do his teeth, I kind of forgot about his teeth, so I've got to go back in now and do his little teeth. So, you know, I usually try to be more efficient, but this is. I don't always do things in the right order myself, so. The thing is, you just want to enjoy yourself. And don't sweat it if the lines are not perfectly straight or, you know, don't beat yourself up because it's about the process. It's about having fun. It's about taking your mind off of things. And Lord knows there's a lot of things to take our mind off of these days, so just have some fun with this. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry. Now I'm going to go down to the, I think we'll go down to the vest. And since, like I said, it's kind of a, a patriotic little bunny, so 
I'm gonna do a the checks, but I'm gonna do them red and white, and I think he's gonna have a blue tie. So uh, I just use this kind of squarish um, brush, but you can you know whatever you have is fine. You make it you know it can work. I've just got access to a little bit more here. Um, so I'm just gonna alternate these little things here to um, can I do that red? Yeah. Well, no, that's gonna be white. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. I definitely have more of a plan together when you start working on this because I really wasn't thinking about these little uh, checks and I kind of put them in the wrong place. So I am, I put a little white in there just to sort of clean up what I messed up and then we're going to go back to it later. So you're alternating. Um, your colors. And, you know, I'll probably do a second coat on these so I'm not really worrying too much about how perfect they come out. And then we can switch. Oh, I don't have the which is not really what I was looking for, but it's all right, it'll work. So, so I really like those square ones better, but, and this one seems a little stiff, like maybe I didn't wash it well enough. So yeah, you know, this is all about the process. Um, you know, I'm sure you've all seen, there's been tons of articles and things about the uh, art therapy and how the arts, you know, have healing um, qualities about them, how they can help you heal. and. Um, it's just an amazing thing to be able to do something like this and just get lost, get completely lost for however long it takes. I mean, sometimes, you know, I can be out here for hours and I don't even realize what time it is. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just out here doing what I do. So it's a really cool thing. I talked to somebody the other day who she knits and she does some different things and it's the same thing when she knits and you know so it, do, it doesn't matter what your form of art is as long as it's something that is good for you and gives you this um i think i talked about it in the last video it's called flow when you get into that zone and you are just totally not you know, you're oblivious to everything around you. You're not thinking about anything. You're not thinking about the laundry. You're not thinking about the bills. You're not thinking about what's going on in the news right now. Um, it's just a nice way to lose yourself. And, um, you know, just enjoy yourself in the process. All right, I think I'm gonna go to the blue right now because the red is going to need to dry before I get to the um, white checks because you see they turn pink. So uh, I'm gonna go this way here. I'm gonna go with the blue. And I've got a little pink on there somehow. And at any time, you know, I'll I'll stop every now and then and I will um, use my hair dryer because it just helps to speed things up. And then you don't have to worry about making a mess.
So for the strokes for this, I'm trying to keep them sort of, you know, in the shape of the bow tie, like it'll help to create the tie itself. You know, a lot of times the paint strokes don't really matter, um, but sometimes they do. And it just helps to form the, sometimes it helps to form the object that you're trying to create. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do on the inside of those bows. That's normally darker, but this is pretty dark, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there quite yet. And you can kind of go back around and sort of reshape it if there's something a little off, or if you missed a spot. I think I would like this to be a little bigger. All right. Let's step up here to see how he's looking. Okay, I'm going to go back in now and try to do the white checks on his vest and see if I can actually keep them white. And again, I'm probably going to need to go over the red again too, so... And I'm not sweating about how perfect they are. And I know some of you get very intense about this stuff, but it's just about having fun. And I used to, so I know how you, I know how you feel, but it took me a long time to realize it's not about necessarily having a perfect outcome every single time. And part of the thing about these things is they're handmade, so it, it's, to me, the imperfections are what makes it unique. You know, if it's something that was cranked out by a machine and it was perfect, it wouldn't have the same personality as something that we're creating on our own. And, you know, then you've got like a little family keepsake too. Definitely gonna need another coat. The white's getting sucked in like a sponge. So these are a little messy right now. I'm using a brush that's really too big for this. So I have a smaller brush, but I don't have it handy, so. So these are definitely going to take a couple of coats, the red and the white. So as soon as I finish this, we'll let this dry a little bit and get back to that. All right, let's see now. I want to make the um, outer part of his eyes 
outside the um, pupil. I like this blue, so let's see if I can get in here with this. Brush is a little globby here. All right, that may need another coat, but at least we got a got a good start on it. And what I could do now also is to bring his little feet back. I kind of lost them earlier, so. I'm going to put, you know, and, and I mean, I went over them. You don't have to go over them. I'm just, it was just easier for me to go over them than to go around all this, but it's an individual thing. If you're comfortable with that, you can do the same thing. If you're not, then you just go around them. They're kind of heart shaped, but the bottom is more rounded. But you can make them however you like. Everything that I do is a suggestion. I say this all the time. You can do it however you want to do it. There is no um, You know, it's not wrong if you do it differently than I do. I mean, sometimes it's nice for us to have somewhere to start and then we can, you know, look at that and say, okay, well, that's nice, but I might like it this way or I might like it, you know, this color or something, so. Tweaking those a little bit. Right, I think I want these to be a smidge bigger. See, there's the problem when you go over the drawing. You're not really sure. Sometimes you could still see it through the paint, but I put too many coats on. So. All right, that's not too bad of me. Like I said, I may tweak them a little bit more, but. That's what I do, I tweak, tweak a lot. All right, so now I think I'm gonna go back to some of the red and do that red and white vest again, but. Okay, so I lightened up the pinks a little bit. I just felt like that dark pink was way too dark and I was not loving it. So I went back and lightened that up. I lightened up the feet a little bit. Um, so I've got another coat um, on the vest, which probably I still could use another one. Um, I'm going to now put some kind of highlights or something on that bow so that it stands out a little bit. It's just too dark 
the way it is. Um, remember every now and then to wet your brush. It helps the paint to move, whether you're on a canvas or one of these cutouts. The water definitely helps to move the paint. Just a little something there to get that going. Um, let's see, to get it so we could see it a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna put another coat of white on his teeth. I forgot about his little teeth here. Uh, you can see I put, I took the fur color and I made his nose stand out more. Um, just little circles that came out there on the side of, well, it's not his nose, I guess his snout. Uh, whatever you want to call it, um, but it needed a little something there, so I took that out. Um, and then we can use a little more of the white of his eyes. And in a minute, we're going to add, uh, hopefully, some kind of eyelashes or something to the outside of these eyes to make them really look cute. Um... Think. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do here. So, also to help to stand out a little bit, I'm just mixing some light brown, which may or may not be the color I want to use, we'll see. To kind of help that stand out a little bit. Okay, and we can probably use that here for the feet. Actually, I forgot what I had over here. It moved a little too fast there. Let's see if I can get some of that off. This really doesn't matter because I'm going to have to go over it anyway. But I did have his little hands here holding his feet. I'll just try something different, you know, again. And I think I'm going to put some of this brown up here. Just to kind of outline, outline that a little bit. Oh, excuse me. All right, so before I do any more with that, I want to put some more color here because I want to show that that's a separate, you know, that's his hand. So I want this to be sort of I just want to get a little more paint on there, a little more coverage. But you know, the way this cutout is, you can't really see the feet, I mean the feet, the hands. So I just wanted to kind of put his little hands in there like he's holding his top of his toes because he's so cute. And maybe a... You know, I've got a little new grandbaby, so maybe I'm a little 
baby crazy right now. I don't know. So I'm doing a little bit of this brown outline around these things. And you'll see on the other side I did the outline, but I did it with black. So. And I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm just kind of doing it in spots. to attempt to do these eyes um, with a, kind of an outline, or a, not an outline, but sort of eyelashes. So I'm going to try to do this very carefully and hopefully not screw it up. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to Get a very thin, hopefully, line that goes around. Okay. And it's going to go. All right. And then we're going to have a couple of lashes come off of here. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, the trick is getting it on the other side to look the same way. All right. It's a little harder to do it the opposite direction, but let's see. Well, it's not perfect, but again, I'm not really going for perfect here. I'm going to touch up the insides of this with the black while I'm here. dry a minute and then I just want to go in and touch up the white there where I kind of probably should wait for this to dry but nose there and let's see dark I might have to tone that down with some white after a minute after it dries a minute and oh nuts 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 well as you can see, I make mistakes all the time. Got too much water on this brush is the problem. So you need water, you just don't need too much water. Get some of that off of 
there. Let's try this one more time. What I'm doing now is kind of going around the outside a little bit and giving a little bit of a outline with this brown, light brown color. And I gave him a little bit of hair in the center there and um, a little fluff on the sides to make him look like he's a little fluffier. And let's see what we could do. So now is the time that you would just kind of go around and see what things you might want to change, what things you might want to fix. Um, I just wanted to tone these lines down a little bit. Spots. Oh, I want to tone those teeth, that black on the teeth down. I don't want it quite that dark. it's dry and it won't be. I just don't, didn't want it quite, just ever so much lighter. Okay. Um, we could have a couple of highlights maybe on the top of the ears. Highlight across the bridge of his nose, and maybe on these little poofy things there. So, you know, I usually do these, I try to do them, you know, so it's fairly easy for anybody, but like, I mean, I could keep going with this for days. I mean, I would just, I won't stop, so that's why. I, this step at some point because I could just keep having fun with it and playing with it and okay, I'm gonna go around the outer parts of his foot here just so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm just lightly touching the brush to the wood to give it a little bit of an outline. And if you get it too dark here or there, you can always go back and change it. So nothing, that's the nice thing about this, nothing's permanent. I feel like I got some brown in there. I just want those little things to show up a little bit more. So I think he's pretty darn cute. I think I like him a lot better than the one on the other side, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I mean, he's cute too, but this one has those big eyes. So. And, you know, you could, so this, you know, is supposed to have a patriotic kind of theme to it, but what you could do is maybe get a little flag and, um, you know, maybe tape it to his hand or something. Like, I, I don't know, I have to figure that part out. But um, there could be another way to get him to look a little bit more patriotic. Um, So 
so we can pop this out a little bit more maybe. Just, just to get it. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, again, you can like play with this thing until I mean, it's crazy. It's like every now and then I just have to say step away from whatever I'm working on because. I could just go to town. Like, where do you see how different this one is than the other side? The other side, much simpler. Well, if you're on my page, you've already seen the other side, but you get the idea. I can have a little highlight on the inside of the ear up here. darker as it goes down. Alright, let's give this a quick drying. Hold on. I second. just realized um, as I was drying it that he didn't add in his little the buttons on his vest. So we're just gonna put a couple of these in here quick. And I'm just making little circles. And we're going to have to do something to make them stand out a little bit because they're definitely too close to the red in color. So I'm going to take some black and go around the outside. Gives us the idea of a All right. continue drying this. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to take the, I hope it's dry, I'm going to take the backing off of it now. And I hope that I, whoa! And I'm going to drop him on his face, which is not good. I'm not going to do that. Hold on one second. So I got a little paint on the sides on this one. I gotta be more careful there. Got a little glob right here. Get that out of there. And hopefully my hands are not too paint covered. Anyway, so that's the front of this one. I think he's adorable. And the back is, he's just, I mean, he's cute too, but it's just very, very different. So, um, See, I had the dark pink on his feet, but I don't know. I just thought it took away from it on this one. Because of the red, white, and blue, I think that the really pink pink was too much. So, um, all right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and um, I will be back with some more. Bye.